I'm Maureen Olhausen, and the title of my talk was Government Regulation, No Backseat Drivers. And Maureen, there's a reason why we pull you right from the red carpet right after your talk. How was it today? How was your experience? Oh, my experience was very positive. It forced me to move away from a written text and just reading off a script to uh, make me realize I can actually do this from memory. Mm -hmm. And as chairman of the Federal Trade Commission, you have so much speaking experience. You've done this countless times. But people often say, because you're actually the 60th TEDx speaker I've interviewed. So oh. this is a milestone <laughs> for me. And what a lot of TEDx speakers say is there's something about a TEDx audience. And maybe it's because this is a little bit very transportation niche, so you can speak right to them. But could you sense that engagement, that connection here today? It's much more conversational. I, I didn't feel that I was just um, speaking to the ether. You know, there are people right there in front of me, and I felt it was much more of a natural conversation. Mm -hmm. And now that you're a TEDx speaker, along, <laughs> which is a very nice thing to add to the <laughs> decorated career yeah. that you've had. Very good, very good. And besides the 84 emails that you and your team had to deal with, with Agit and the blog posts and the videos, so we can push those aside, but what advice would you give, what words of wisdom would you have for future TEDx speakers? I'd say realize it's an iterative process, that you start out kind of tethered to the paper and then maybe you move to index cards, but as you go through the process of repeating and refining, it makes you more confident, it makes... Uh, a more enjoyable experience. So while the process at the beginning was a little daunting, I think at the end I was very happy with the output. Mm -hmm. Because I think words from you can carry some extra weight here. This is a bonus question mm -hmm. that I don't get from many people, but if you had one core message for Americans everywhere to be a part of the progression of our transportation future, to stay connect, connected, stay tuned in to where we're going as a society, transportation-wise, what would that core takeaway be? That core takeaway for that I would recommend Americans uh, consider as, they, as we move forward into this exciting future is to realize that we're much better at imagining bad things than we are at good things. And as we think back to the changes the automobile has brought in the last hundred years, we couldn't have seen those a hundred years ago. So feel positive about the future. I, there are things to be concerned about, but there's a lot more to be excited about.